let's be real, creating a game is not the easiest thing to do. But I always wanted to make a game. It's surely not impossible, right? Many solo game developers have already made the games before, and these are actually great games. So then, how hard it is to make a game? Well, I don't know, I have never made a game, game before. before! And I cannot call myself game developer if I don't make one, even though my YouTube channel is all about that. So, you know what that means. We're gonna see another game developer struggle to figure out how to make a game. Anyways, the game is gonna be a 3D platformer distributed into multiple levels. At the end of each level, there's gonna be a special ability, for example a double jump, that will allow you to move to the next level. The only thing that is gonna be stopping you are obstacles, AI enemies and probably a lot of bugs. So let's start by creating a new project in Unreal Engine. And first off, we're gonna need to add a character controller so you can control the player. But since Unreal has already built in character controller with all of the boring stuff that I would need to code, we can call that a job done. So yeah, thank you Unreal. There is one problem, and that's when I jump, it takes a lot of time to land back on the ground. It feels floaty, but I found a solution for this on this GDC talk. Basically, when you jump and hit the highest point of that jump, also known as Apex, it takes the same amount of time to fall down from the apex as it took to get up to the apex. And this is what causes that floating effect. The solution for this is that when the player hits the apex, the gravity will stronger itself and when you hit the ground, the gravity will reset to a normal value. Now there is one thing that you probably don't know about me and that's that I'm not really good at programming. But since Unreal has this amazing visual scripting system called Blueprints that my last 17 brain cells can comprehend, I was able to implement the solution and now the jumping feels much better. Next I have added sprinting and crouching. Then I worked on the checkpoint system because, let's be honest, you will not be able to go throughout the whole game without dying. I'm not saying that you are not skilled enough gamer, just be honest with yourself. So then I have made a testing map where I can play with the player speed, jump height and so forth to establish the character movement. I also made some simple obstacles and a jump pad, because why not? Anyway, I got bored by looking at white boxes, so I went to Blender and modeled some platforms which are just floating islands. Then I took the island into Unreal, I looked at it and said, ah, still looks boring. I first tried to go for a full-on low-poly style, but then I realized that I have some better cards in my pocket. So I have pulled up some grass that I have made a few months ago, made some trees and it looks a lot better. But guys, now it's time to add life to the land. I am going to make an AI enemy. Hey, um, Mark Pitek from Future here. I just wanna say that this took way too much time to make, so Please consider subscribing to the channel or supporting me on Patreon to accelerate the production of this game and these videos. And yeah, that's all. Thank you. Now let's get back to the video. So to make an AI, I need to first learn how behavior trees work. Now after some research, and when I say research, I mean... I was able to implement some basic movements to the AI, so for now it's just walking around. And after a while I was able to make the AI to chase me when I get close to it. Ok, so now we can make an actual model of enemy and make bunch of animations for it. And that's where we hit another wall. I don't know how to animate, so... And after a while, I figured out how to make basic animations. And I made, wait for it, a slime. I'm gonna call him Larry. Now, he's running on a single animation all the time and it's still dumb as f***, but it's fine for now. Now, we just need a way to kill Larry and for that, I'm gonna need to make a fighting system which shouldn't be that hard to make. Why are we still here? Just to suffer every night. 
We also need to make a sword and hands that will hold that sword is how it usually works. And after a few painful hours I have made some crappy walking and swinging animations. I worked a little bit more on a fighting system and now you can pick the sword from the ground and fight Larry with it. But since Larry has only one animation and that's just jumping, he will do nothing when you hit him, but his health go down and eventually he die. Now I would want to work on improving the animations and adding other things, but I'm quite in a hurry since I want to upload this video already. So we'll continue next time. I hope that you have enjoyed this video, thank you so much to these mad lads that supported me for this month. Smash the subscribe button so Larry doesn't eat you and bye bye.